If there's one thing I want you to learn today, it's this. Cardiac arrest is not a heart attack. These are two completely different medical emergencies. A heart attack is a plumbing problem inside the heart. You can see a lot of arteries on the heart in this image. One way a heart attack happens is when these arteries become blocked or clogged severely, and your heart muscle is deprived of the oxygen it needs to function properly. This lack of oxygen can cause serious damage to the heart muscle, which can lead to long-term problems or worse in the short term if it's not dealt with quickly. During a heart attack, you are still breathing and you're still conscious, which means you can tell people, I think I'm having a heart attack. A cardiac arrest is an electrical problem. Cardiac means heart and arrest means stop. Your heart literally stops pumping and because it's an electrical problem in most cases, it needs to be shocked to try and get it restarted. In a cardiac arrest, you are not breathing and you're not conscious. You can't call out for help and let someone know that you rely upon them for assistance. That's why it's so important that other people know what to do. Most of the time, there's no warning signs that you're about to go into cardiac arrest. More than 26,000 Australians suffer a sudden cardiac arrest every single year. 80% of these happen in the home. The overall survival rate for a cardiac arrest event is 5%. But if you use the chain of survival, call, push, shock, survival rates can jump from anywhere between 60 to 70%. A heart attack is not a cardiac arrest. If you learned a thing or two and you want to help us save lives, then give us a follow.